Man, what's going on, you guys? Steph. Nah, I'm going to do it like this. Steph, I'm back with another video, man. You know, this one is very disturbing because a lot of guys have confidence on talking to a woman, which is a cool thing, but not enough confidence on their goals, their vision, or their gift, right? And a lot of people go, man, Stefan, man, what you talking about now, man? Stop talking gibberish, right? So I'm talking to this kid, man, young boy, and he's been supporting for a very long time since 2020. And this ain't no disrespect to you, bro, but you're telling me you want to take rap seriously. You want to really have a passion for it and i asked you yo how's the music going don't have no ideas then you shoot damn i didn't know i hit that thing anyway um you telling me you have a passion for it and then you start to sent me a verse and i was reading it i was like okay man he got something you know for his age you know he he's, he's got a pen he's got he got some bars man and i'm supporting him for it and i told him sir you need to keep on rapping he said oh what if i'm trash Steph? what if i'm trash and i'm just like i'm i'm just sitting here saying to myself how is it that you know you love to rap but I'm telling you, you need to keep going. I'm not telling you, you need to stop, right? But you saying you trash. Nah, man. It's just you don't have the confidence in yourself. You don't have the belief in yourself of um, turning your gift into something. And I want people, guys who are my age, I want you young kids to really understand. Bro, just do the damn thing. Sorry for cursing. Just do it. Because you just don't know what is on the other side until you try, right? And the reason why I find it very weird, and I'm not going to just target him. I I notice when with you guys, you have the okay of talking to a female who rejects you and you keep going and going and going for it. But you guys don't keep that same energy when it comes to your gift, your talent. And I'm going to say this like this, man. A lot of you young guys have not gone through what I've gone through. You know, when I'm doing something, I had a lot of um, people around me telling me I need to stop. You guys don't. You guys are always in your head too much, man. And it's just really just, man, just, just lay it down. You think... When I first started this YouTube stuff or even started streaming, you think I was saying to myself, oh, I'm trash because um, I only at, at a certain time only had like one person watching my stream. No, I just kept on going. It was a game I liked. I started streaming. I wanted to see how it was and I really loved it. You know, back in the Armlet Arcade days. All right. If a lot of you guys don't know, I was really rocking it. Um, hundred thousand people in my uh, streams, millions of views, and all that stuff, right? But why did I do that? Because I was interesting, and I always put the work in. I and it was it was uh you know C nineteen time. Because why? Because I really just loved it, and the people loved it too. And and the young kids who are on there from different countries, and you know from the states, man. Shout out to y'all. Y'all, y'all loved and something I did and I that kept me going. But when I first started, I it wasn't like that. It was a steady grind. It was a steady pace. It was steady. But I didn't question myself of, oh, what it was like this. Even with YouTube, man, I remember um, only po only getting a couple of views, right? And then I was getting the millions of views and all that. But I had to delete, uh, I had to delete all those videos because it just wasn't uh, YouTube appropriate, right? But I still kept the subscribers. And when there was 
times where just like the views just wasn't clicking anymore, I wasn't questioning myself. I kept doing it because number one, a lot of that outside noise that was around back in New York wasn't there no more. So all it was was just go mode, go mode, go mode, go mode. It wasn't, there was nothing like that. But with you young kids, man, you just sit there, just doubt yourself over one or two tries, bro. You got to give yourself six months, six years to do something great. And if it don't work out, cool. At least you can say, dang, at least I did it. At least I did it, bro. At least I could sit there and say, yo, I did it. And then there's someone like me who's just telling you to go. It may not make no sense or I may just I may just say it or I may just be like, yo, you have something going for yourself. And then you just give up. Like a lot of people, man, in Cali, man, when, when I first was um coming out here full throttle, putting in uh, um, doing music full throttle. And a lot of these people depleted or or don't want to do it anymore, do it anymore. Right. Because a lot of you guys give up. See, when a woman just stops, she stopped because uh, she ain't feeling it. She needs support from her family or whatever. Man, and she can come back into it. Right. Like I know plenty of female models, man, who just literally took months off a year off. And then photographers want to work with her all over again. As a man, bro, you don't get that. Once you stop, man, and you try to make a comeback, you got to start from zero again. We do not have the ultimate um, support. That's why, like, me being in the modeling world, I have not ever slowed down. I had maybe a couple days here and there, but I felt that. But I had to get back on that grind pace because nobody's going to care about you. People will hate, will love to see you fall, then you climbing back up. But when you have that doubt, lack of confidence, um, doing the dumb, goofy stuff, um, I'm going to say like this too, switching fields all over. Oh, it's not working out. I'm going to try over here. I'm going to try over there. I'm going to try over here. I'm going to try over there. Bro, you, you're, you're, you don't even know where you're going. Because you don't stay focused on one thing. You stay focused on a lot of things. Shit come into your life. Oh, man, the, the per your so-called purpose is gone. Why? Because you just don't um, believe in yourself. Weird. I understand breaks, but there, there should be no such thing as breaks as a man. I'm just I'm just keeping it a buck. There should be no such thing as a break as a man. Right. Even yesterday, man. I was enjoying life. If you on my Instagram, man, or, you know, you see my TikTok, bro, I was eating a nice steak. Nice, nice something. And and that right there fueled me because, dang, this is what it's like to eat, eat somewhere nice. You enjoying the fruits of your labor. Beautiful, sunny. Everybody else is doing it because, you know, they got the money. But when you do it and you grind for yourself, man, you enjoying that steak, man, that, that good chicken bowl or whatever, man, it, it's a good feeling. But for me personally, I was like, oh, yeah, I got to keep on going. Right. And me keep on going, man, is me doing a uh, me joining a TikTok agency, L.A. agency after I got fired from my job, bro. And it just tell me, bro, you got to keep on going. You got to keep trying. got to keep pursuing. But imagine I took off six, six months from now. I probably would have not ever got that deal. Because why? Because I believed in the vision. Some people just don't have that okay to come back. Sometimes when you stop, when sometimes you take a break, man, nobody's going to rock with you. Even if you are mentally messed up. And I want you young guys to do that, man. You too young to be um, lack of confidence, man. You have the whole entire uh, you have the whole entire world in the palm of your hands. Oh, you got a school and and friends. You don't have to work a job. You should be going full throttle pace and learning as you go. Period.
Don't give up. I'm out, man.